So hey guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to find the maximum rate of change. Alright, so for this example, to find the maximum rate of change is just differentiation of del dot x. Differentiation of x in here is by x of this equation by x is just two. Differentiation of This equation by y is just 1, and differentiation of this equation by z is just minus 1. Therefore, the our function is just going to be represented in this way, 1 minus 1. So this is x, this is y, this is z. And therefore, our maximum rate of change can be found as 2 square plus 1 square plus minus 1 square. Therefore, our maximum rate of change in here is just 6, square root of 6. So this is just for A. Now, let's come to for, let's come to for B. Let's come for B. It's also easy, um, differentiation of this equation by x, we'll get 2x, differentiation by y, you differentiation, differentiate this by y, you have minus x, differentiate this by z, we'll get minus y. So therefore, our equation in here this time is 2x, so this is x, this is y, minus z, and minus y. And we have given, so there's some points given in here, we have to make use of this. This is x, y, z. So therefore, it's going to be 2 times Two comma minus z. Now z is one, so minus one, and our y is one, so minus one. So therefore, it's going to be four minus one minus one, and our maximum rate of change is going to be basically four square plus. Um, minus 1 square plus minus 1 square. So 4 square is 16 plus 1 plus 1. So you'll have square root of 18. So that's our final answer. As easy as that. And let's come for C. Hopefully we have some space here. C is also easy, del y del x, when you differentiate this by x, you get 2xy, differentiate this by y, you'll get x squared minus 5z squared, differentiate this by z, we'll get minus 5, or actually minus 10, because this differentiate 2 times 5 is minus 10, y, z. And let's put them as coordinates. We'll get 2xy, comma, x squared minus 5, z square, sorry about my handwriting, and minus 10 y z. Let's put in the values inside 2x y, it's going to be 2 times 2 times 1, comma, 2 square minus 
five times one square and minus ten. Let's say minus ten. One one is minus ten. Therefore, we'll get four. Four minus five is minus one and minus ten. And now we can find the maximum rate of change as four square plus minus one square plus minus ten square. So when we solve this, this is sixteen plus one plus hundred. Therefore, maximum rate of change is hundred seventeen. That's your final answer. Uh, that's all for today. Hope you understood something. Thank you.